Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. As we continue our exploration of Jewish festivals this week, today we're going to look at Sukkot, or the Feast of Booths, also called the Feast of Tabernacles. I think you'll see a close similarity to our Thanksgiving holiday. This holiday is usually celebrated in October, and it's a festival of harvest or ingathering. The name of the holiday comes from the name of the temporary structures that the farmers would build to live in while they were in the field collecting the harvest. It tended to have walls and a thatch-covered roof. It is a time of thanksgiving for them, commanded in Exodus to recognize and give thanks to God for their harvest. But in Leviticus, it also says that the temporary shelters were also intended to remind them of the flimsy shelters the people of Israel lived in during the Exodus when they were saved and led by God. This was a seven-day festival to remember and give thanks. The connection to Jesus is both obvious and subtle. The whole of John chapter 7 tells about Jesus during the festival of booths. At first he didn't want to go and sent the disciples into the city of Jerusalem. Then Jesus comes later sneaking into the city. And about halfway through the festival, he shows up at the temple and begins to preach. And the rest of the chapter is about the various reactions to his teaching. There are those who are astonished at this uneducated man could teach this way. There are those who wonder about him coming from Galilee when everyone knew the Messiah was supposed to come from Bethlehem, which wasn't in Galilee. And there are the Pharisees and the scribes who want to arrest Jesus. And there is Nicodemus, who argues that you can't arrest Jesus because they need to give him a trial and he hasn't done anything wrong. The whole chapter centers on the question of Jesus' identity as the Son of God. That's the obvious reference in the Gospels to this celebration. The more subtle one is more speculation than proof. But on the Mount of Transfiguration, when Jesus glows with heavenly glory and Moses and Elijah come to speak with him, Peter offers to build three booths for them to stay there. That makes many question, did this happen during the festival of Sukkot? We don't know. But it's an intriguing hint that Jesus could be made known as the Savior of the world in a time when the people should be giving God thanks. One more thing. This festival is called Sukkot, or the Feast of Booths. It's also called the Festival of Tabernacles. And the word tabernacle means a place to dwell. In the Bible, the word tabernacle was used to describe where God's people gathered. But it became known as much more than that. It became known as the place where God's presence dwells. So the place in Jewish synagogues where they keep their Torah scrolls is called a tabernacle. And in Roman Catholic churches, the place where they keep the communion elements between masses is called a tabernacle. And in our church, the altar cloths make a tent or a tabernacle over our communion elements every week. Jesus was named Emmanuel, which means God with us. May God tabernacle. 
May God dwell with us. And may our hearts respond in thanksgiving and praise. Thanks for watching. And remember to let this day belong to God.